welcome to the Longines Global Champions Tour. As we get into the final stages, it's coming to a very close battle between three top riders once again. Two that were part of the showdown last year, Scott Brash and Rolf Jorenbengsen, joined this year by Luciana Deniz. But Rolf, you've been up there so many times now, joining us here today, Swedish rider with a fantastic Casal Ask. What's it like to be in there once again? <laughs> of, of course, it's, it's really, really nice. Uh, to have a horse like Kazalask is uh, is amazing. Uh, I had him for so long time, and I've been growing up together with him. Uh, and that makes it even more so you nice. Did, yeah, you, you know each other inside out, if that makes sense. Yes, as we have a couple of years together now, and since young horse. Yeah. How how young was the horse when you first had him? He was uh, in the middle of the season, six years old when he came to us. Yeah. And uh, slowly, slowly build him up and. Ten years now. Now it's now it's here, <laughs> nearly here. <laughs> and in the overall championship, I mean, you've been twice second now in the championship. How much determination <laughs> this year? Uh, that has been really close both of the times, uh, same points, but I was the one who had a little bit less wins in both uh, times. So of course uh, you want to top that one time, and uh, it's it's a very tough situation now we have here in Vienna and then we have the final in Doha to go and uh, I mean there is maybe a few others coming up from behind which haven't full result yet yeah. and they are also I mean very dangerous for us. Absolutely I mean we're talking about the three of you vying for the title but you could be pushed out from the podium overall. It, it is like that and yeah. uh, uh, that I think is it's it's not nice when you get pushed out but it's nice that it's still kind of open yeah and uh, it's a good battle it was like last year it was <laughs> really interesting situation in the final in Doha and uh, I think that makes it so so interesting everything I mean and last year going in I mean you actually won in Doha you had Scott Brash and Luke Beerbaum in the mix then you won it and it still just wasn't quite enough which was a shame I, it's true yeah and my only chance to to get one point more than Ludger was to win the class and yeah uh, if you go there and say you have to win then for sure <laughs> it's very very <laughs> difficult to make it but somehow uh, it was a fantastic day for me and my horse was in great form up to this year, Luciana and Scott once again. I mean, Casal and Hello Sanctos have an unbelievably consistent record. I mean, I looked down the last two years from your point of view, only twice outside the top 10. Six Grand Prix wins you've got overall in the Longines Global Champions Tour through, through the series itself. Two wins last year, two already this year. If you put the two in the jump off, what, what, would, you, what would you think would be your favoritism what would you think you would have a little bit of an edge on what would you use what would be in your I mean rate? they are yeah uh, sometimes it can be advantage to come to come before mm -hmm. the other one to to set up a really good time and make the pressure on and, uh, and you have to go even faster that can sometimes make the go and and another time, it's it's the opposite. You go mm -hmm. second, and you 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 know what the first one I've been doing, and you say, I may need to risk even more in that turn to get them. And uh, of course, you take risk then if it go well. It's it can be faster and can be very good. But of course, you can also push it that far that you have one down. No? Yeah. And what what do you think is the strength that Casal has for you on your own going into a jump off? Uh, so he's. He's quite cool about it, and uh, he can turn quick. Yeah. He can uh, turn up to, to a big fence quite from from a short turn. Uh, I mean, he look for the fence now. He tried to figure out how to get over, even if there is a very short time of, of yeah. approach to the fence. And, and let's take another of your opponents, Luciana Diniz, here. I mean from her point of view, probably fit for fun, we don't know, maybe winning mood. Those two horses watching fit for fun, I mean, that's a very special horse to go up against as well. 
it is. It's a very, very athletic horse. It's a, it's a big stride for a small horse. Yeah. It, it comes very easy forward, and if you can use the canter really good, and she can keep on coming because he's so so careful, then of course she is very hard to beat. And if it if it came down to a jump off of the three of you, <laughs> <laughs> where would you rather go, first or last? Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, I would prefer to go last. I think to to have the chance to to know what to do mm -hmm. and to try to to do it even better if it's possible. <laughs> Talking about Casal, I mean, it's a horse with a fantastic breeding and has gone on. Tell me a little bit about the background of the breeding of the horse and how that's been a great strength. Yeah, so there have been many horses after Caratino. Uh, Laval on the mother's side is also making a bit of blood in the horse. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, he, he grew up in a nice way. He's a very, very careful horse. Um, we slowly build him, and then he came up to breed and produce very, very good horses. And we can see there is a couple of uh, offsprings from him who jumps now the bigger classes. Yeah, and they are they are also very good. So he's, he's, he's a complete horse. He can compete himself, and he can also produce horses. And that's uh, not all the stallions which are a fantastic breeder even if there's fantastic jumper. Now, putting aside the, the three horses, the three riders that are involved, I mean, you, you've got, let's put it politely, you've got the most experience of the three riders from that point of view. I mean, you've been European champion, all the things that you've done through your career. Does that give you an edge over the other two or not? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm the oldest one of the three, yes. So I've been in the game a bit longer, but uh, I mean, they are, they are fantastic riders, they can keep the head cool when it comes to difficult positions, especially Sp uh, Scott, he is a fantastic uh, player in that way, he can go in as the last rider and uh, you don't see him moving anything, he just make what he needs to do. Uh, and Luciana it's a com and complete, complete riders, both yeah. of them, they are very, very competitive. Uh, it's, it's nice to be... Uh, <laughs> one of them there and to compete against them. And in terms, I mean, Luciana, slightly different style, quite an emotional rider in, in what she does, but very fast. Yes, she is. So when she comes to jump off, she's, she's always there. Uh, she wants to go for it. She tried to come quick to the finish line and that's, that's the way. So overall thoughts looking ahead. I mean, we're, we're still in Vienna here. We've still got this one to get out of the way. But what, how do you feel about the championship as a whole? Ah, <laughs> of course, we're looking forward to it. Uh, it's nice to there is a battle and it's not over already now yeah. that some, some of them, some of us, are that far away that we can't uh, come up to them. That makes the whole Global Championship Tour Series very exciting, I think, that uh, it's, it's not over until the last one has been jumping. And, of course, you're looking forward to come to Doha, and I like to be in Doha. I had a good show last year, yeah. so. Yeah, it's a venue that suits you, it might well help. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's, but with a horse like Casal Ask, you, mm. he can go on different rings. He can go on the grass, on a big ring. He can go in a small ring. And in that way, he's, uh, he's very complete. Complete champion all the way around. <laughs> yes, he is. Also, and, and he has also a lot of experience now in his age. So you can keep asking the questions. Uh, yes, we can. So <laughs> he's uh, he's motivated and he's a good horse like like that because when when it's you go uh, for the warm up class, you let him go a little bit nice and not having so much of pressure on him. He's just taking it very easy, going around. And then when you ask him to, now it's the day when we have to really make an effort, he's also there for you. Yeah. Uh, and I think that makes a horse what you can uh, you can trust on and you can you can like 
motivate them to, to do the very best when you, when you need it. He knows when it's the big occasion. Yeah, I think he feels that on me too. And today is important and I, I tell him to be a little bit more aggressive, be a little bit more on the spot. And then that normally makes him even more, also even better. Absolutely. Well, he's going to come down to a real battle towards the finish. You've got a great one to go into battle with, which is great with Casal. So good luck to you. We're going to get, go and talk to the other two as we go through. But three of you to battle for the title this year. Twice second. I hope it's your name on the trophy this time. We'll see. Good luck to you, Rolf. One of the great combinations this year. Rolf Jorimbenksen and Casal Ask. Will they be serious champions? Well, we've got two legs to find out.